The next person that's coming to speak to you today is uh, filling in for his regional director who actually could not be here. This is for Caribbean, Central America, Mexico, probably one of the best regions in the entire world. This is my brother, Steve Shirley. Thank you, Slenda. Let's all stand today. ¿Cuánto dicen gloria a Dios? Hallelujah. Seguimos en español, pues. Amen. <laughs> okay. Everybody who has not been to the Central America Caribbean region can sit down. All right. Look at all these that have visited. Un aplauso para ustedes. Amen. Thank you. We are so close. We're just right over, right over the border. <laughs> so we have been blessed to have many of you come on AYC, on AIM, different uh, visits, medical missions, and uh, CSI. We have had a tremendous, tremendous uh, participation of AIMers, and uh, it has been a blessing. Amen. We appreciate uh, Brother Poitras and his team for for putting this together. Give an applause to Brother Poitras today and his great team. They have done a wonderful job, amen. And also we bring greetings from Brother and Sister Schwartz who are in Trinidad conducting some very important business over there and probably eating some good roti as well. <laughs> amen, but I grew up as an MK and uh, I've gotta tell something on my sister. Would you like to hear something about her? Well, she was an aimer in the Dominican Republic, and we went out to a village church, and the church didn't have any walls. It was just, you know, four posts on the corners or a few posts, and uh, the service was very lively. Every time the song leader would get excited, he'd, you know, do this, and a puff of dust would come up. <laughs> he had some big old platform shoes on. We still kind of laugh about that, but during service, one of the men decided he needed to go to the bathroom. So you can imagine it, there was no bathroom, it was just the four sticks on the corners of the building, so he decided that he would go around, you know, where nobody would be worried about it, right in front of the platform area, to go to the bathroom right there. So that was a good <laughs> introduction to aiming in the Dominican Republic. But... Uh, we are in a revival region, amen. The CAC region is a revival region. Brother Schwartz sent me these statistics. Last year, 22,000 were filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen, 24,000 baptized. 111 Bible schools. 2,287 students. 250 new churches and preaching points. So in other words, there's a lot of babies. So we need help with the babies, amen. We need some help. And these are actual needs that are sent in from our missionaries, if they could help me with the media here. Uh, we have Belize, uh, Belize missionaries, Danny and Esther Becerra. They need somebody to come help preach, teach Bible school, Sunday school, homeschooling. They're currently on deputation, but uh, save the date, 2024, amen. Amen. Then going on to Costa Rica, uh, missionaries Luke and Samantha Campbell need help with the music and also construction. Amen. In the Dominican Republic, missionary Stephen Carey Shirley, we need help with preaching, teaching, Bible school, multimedia, construction, personal evangelism, church planning in some of our islands, and Spanish speakers are a blessing. Amen. Amen. Going on to Guatemala, uh, missionary Thompson and Jewett. I'm glad Sister Jewett is here today. Amen. And she has a table over in the exhibit hall. And come by and see her. She'll tell you about all the opportunities that are there. But they need workers for their home. Amen. The home and also uh, something else that we passed up there. All right, there we go. Uh, see Sister Jewett at the booth. Amen. Sister Jewett, stand up and greet, the, greet this wonderful crowd. They're doing an awesome work. Amen. Okay, we'll go ahead here. Uh, Guyana, 
Uh, missionary Steve and Sherry Smith, they need help with Sunday school workers, office help, printing, copying, binding, evangelism, and outreach, preaching and teaching. Amen. And then in Haiti, and I want us to do something today. I want us to stand because Haiti is going through a very tremendous, terrible situation. Uh, gangs tried to take over the airport last night. We're in Sister Brian. Uh, are requesting prayer because it's a desperate situation. Fifteen churches have been taken over by gangs. They take over, they throw the people out, throw the pastors out, and they have an orphanage there, a clinic, and, and a home. And we need to pray for them because they're trying to get into these places and take them over. So let's pray today. Let's lift up our hands and ask God to just reach out. Minister, Lord, today we pray to our works and our churches in Haiti that you would minister right now in Jesus' name. Protect the children at the orphanages, God. I pray that you would minister and put your angels around about our pastors and churches and leaders in that country. Lord, those who are uh, being kidnapped, those who are under tremendous pressure right now, I pray for our missionaries, brother and sister Brian, that you would minister to them, strengthen them now. In Jesus' name, we agree together, Lord, and believe that you're going to do the work. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you for your prayers. You may be seated. And when things cool off and they're uh, able, they need help with their children's home, work, uh, workers there, a Bible school administration, teaching, manual labor, translation of materials, and children's ministry. Amen. We also have needs uh, in Puerto Rico. Uh, missionary Joseph and Cassandra Landra need help establishing churches on the western side of the island, evangelism, Bible studies, preaching, and teaching, and Sunday school. Uh, Spanish is not required, but would be a great blessing. Then in the Windward Islands, Brother Richie, Missionary Henry and Sharon Richie, evangelism, youth workers, teaching Bible studies in that area. Amen. So God is doing some wonderful things in our islands and our countries. Uh, Brother Richie just came to me, a tremendous testimony, he sent me a picture of a child. And uh, this child was born with the kneecaps backwards, the feet were turned around. And they called the church and asked for prayer. And it was just a Wednesday night, they asked for prayer. And so they prayed. And you know what happened? God healed that baby in the hospital. Those <laughs> legs were turned around the next day. And the feet were, were going the right direction. Amen. That's a miracle. I saw a picture of that little baby running and playing, you know, after uh, time has passed, and God did a tremendous work. Also, Nicaragua, uh, they're asking for help, Brother and Sister Long, with Sunday school ministry, construction projects, assistance, and design, uh, administrative personal assistant to the missionaries, Bible college staff support, website development, and maintenance. Amen. And so there are a lot of needs. We could put a help wanted sign up. <laughs> Hiring now. Amen. Because there's a lot of work to do in the kingdom of God. And if I could give any advice to anyone that is asking today what you could do to become involved in missions, I would just say begin loving people today. Amen. Love people around you because it's going to work even when you go to the field. And I believe that if we can help one person we can make a difference. I want to tell you a story today, a couple of stories. And uh, the first one I want to tell you is about Brother Juan. Brother Juan was a son of, a, of Haitian immigrants in the Dominican Republic. There are a lot of Haitians. Probably a million and a half live on our side of the border. He grew up in a little village, terrible conditions. And uh, Juan wanted to become a baseball player like most Dominicans. We have over 80 that play in the big leagues now. Many are playing in the World Series or played in the World Series. And um, also over 800 have played in the big leagues here in the United States. But everybody wants to become a baseball player over there. And uh, Brother Juan wanted to be a baseball player so he could make it in life. But he, he didn't make it. <laughs> Couldn't make the cut. So then he became interested in working at one of the big hotels, the tourist hotels. And he taught himself English with books, and he tried to get a job at that hotel, and he couldn't make it. But there was a missionary that saw the potential in that young man, 
and he invited him to Bible school. And Brother Juan uh, went to Bible school in Santo Domingo. When we got to the Dominican Republic in 1991, he was one of the few that were graduating from Bible school. But Brother Juan became my translator until we could learn enough Spanish. God blessed Brother Juan and used him, and uh, he began to uh, prosper and advance in the ministry. And now Brother Juan is our national secretary of the whole work in the Dominican Republic. Amen. But Brother Juan took a small church that was very discouraged. Uh, I don't know, they probably, probably had about 30 people, but God began to minister through Brother Juan. The church began to grow. And as they grew, they began to send out congregations and pastors. And there was a man who attended the church. His name was Eusebio. Eusebio had a terrible reputation in the community. He was a bus driver, and he tried to get every girl on, uh, on his bus to become his girlfriend. That was his testimony. And so they called him the milkman because he had to take milk all over the city for all his families, you know, that he had all around. But God got a hold of Brother Eusebio. And he began to bring people to church in his bus. He would fill his bus up, bring them to church. And then Brother Juan said, we're going to start a church where Brother Eusebio is from. And you know what happened? God did the work in Eusebio's life, filled him with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Changed his life around. And now it's Pastor Eusebio that is the pastor of that village. Of that, that's that part of, of Los Alcarizos. But we could go on and on. Those who have come from Brother Juan's church, Brother Habish, who is pastoring, Brother Miguel, Brother Porfilio, Brother Benjamin, and the daughter works that they sent out begin to have daughter works. And there was Brother Edison here, Brother Jose Alberto, Brother Sawil, uh, the brothers in Progreso and Los Americanos, and, and on and on. But it was all because one life was changed. Can you imagine if you could go to a field and just touch one person? We were on deputation earlier this year, Bentonville, Arkansas, and we had our little table set up. We had the guida, we had the music uh, instrument, we had coffee from the Dominican Republic, and I saw a big burly guy come running over and he said, I want to buy it all. And we asked him where he's from. He said, I was from the Dominican Republic. And the interesting thing was that there was a girl from Brother Juan Batista's church, went to New York City on a student, uh, a Becca, a scholarship, and uh, she won a bunch of people at her college. And that young man was one from a student from Brother Juan Batista's church. So the far-reaching effects of just loving one person and winning one person, you can become very effective even on the AIM program serving, amen, the kingdom of God. We were appointed in 19... Uh, 86 as Amers and uh, went to a Caribbean conference and it was kind of like a meeting like this and our director's wife stood up sister Rachel Smith and began to tell about all the islands without churches and something got a hold of our hearts my, my wife and I's hearts amen and we decided that we would like to be a uh, become missionaries and so no telling what God can do in a meeting like this amen help wanted <laughs> we're hiring amen all over the region, we need help. There's a lot of babies. We need somebody to help us. Amen. Stop by and see our exhibits. We have Today we have coffee tasting contests from all around the region. We have different coffees. Tomorrow is the hot sauce testing competition. See what level you can get to. Amen. And so come by and see us. Special greetings from our director, Brother Schwartz, and the missionaries from the Central America Caribbean region. God bless you today.